Welcome to the Oxen Group Nightly. My name is David Ristow. I'm the CEO, President, and Founder of the Oxen Group. The Oxen Group is a financial analysis and investment ideas firm located at www.theoxengroup.com. We operate a number of portfolios in the short term and long term. Please check us out today on the web. Um, in tonight's Oxen Group Nightly, we're going to be discussing a recap on the July 12th trading day. I will be talking about our market wrap up as well as some of our current and new positions. Uh, we'll be updating you on all four portfolios looking at our forecast for tomorrow, and as always, please check out our disclaimer at the end of the video. So, the market was hit with its third down day in a row. Uh, there's a lot, been a lot of volatility in the market recently. Uh, you know, a lot of things, uh, inputs into the market right now, and it's all over the place, really trying to figure out what to do. Um, you know, there's continued fears of the European debt that's been hitting the market. Um, earnings were not ex exactly great from some of the tech companies like Microchip. Um, and Novellus, um, Alco is decent, um, and Moody's downgraded Ireland towards the end of the day. On the plus side, um, I'm not sure this is really positive overall, but it has been positive for the market. The Fed minutes, I hinted at a taste of uh, the, you know, the QE3 is starting to be discussed. Could they put it on the table? Um, what would it mean for the market? I think they kind of threw it out there to really test to see how what it kind of affected it in the market. Quickly spiked the market and then uh, lost a little bit of. Um, that sort of the gains that were quickly made on that, and then those were gains were quickly given up as we neared the close, and, and uh, then got the news that Moody's was downgrading Ireland. Um, you know, and then on the home front, also Washington continued to fight over what to do with the debt ceiling. Um, I think towards the end of the day, there was a Plan C release by the um, Republican Party that basically says, you know, hey, we'll raise the debt ceiling, but we basically don't think anything really great's going to be done until to raise to limit. <laughs> to lower the debt until uh, Barack's out of office, basically. So uh, I don't really see that as positive either. Uh, so the market definitely battling a lot of uh, headwinds here. Um, on the positive side, though, you know we do have earnings season coming up. Um, we did have a dropping dollar today, um, and uh, we did have some. Um, I think a little bit of uh, um, a little less fear over Italy uh, um, as they basically said, you know, hey. Uh, they were able to pass um, some some debt, and uh, you know uh, they're they're trying to put together maybe an austerity plan there. Um, so overall, though, um, the market not not doing so well. Trade balance did drop today, um, and actually, um, you know, for the most part, people will say, "Oh, well, that's bad," you know. But actually, that's actually pretty good um, if the if the input on the home front side is good, which it was, and and. Um, if you look at this chart, you see the trade balance dropping, um, and typically when the trade balance is dropping, you're seeing market moving up. Um, you can see the the major ticks up in the trade balance, like here, is when the market's struggling a lot. Um, and so actually, um, fairly good um, when we get the trade balance to drop because it actually means typically that we're having a lot of um, demand at home for our own goods. Um, and uh, that that would drop the trade balance. Um, you know, market volatile session definitely. Uh, you know, it was up and down, spiking pretty much up and down, buying dips, selling the um, rally, and then uh, started to get a little bit of a good good day going. Kind of dropped off a little bit, um, and then after we got the Fed minutes, had a quick spike up, and then just fell apart off that line um, with a combination, I think, of profit taking, um, and then. Um, um, probably a lot of people, you know, we had some uh, people also shorting the market, I think, towards the end of the day, um, and then with also with the Ireland news. And just it just seems like continual hits and hits and hits to the downside. Um, and I really honestly, you know, we do continue to get all this down downward, you know, news. But at the same time, you know, I think the market's been fairly resilient given the amount of downward news that we've had. I mean, today, uh, you know, the market held up pretty well. Um, you know, whether it's a fake holdup or whatever, it is a holdup. You know, you always hear this this conversation like, oh, you know, this rally's fake or oh, this pullback is fake. But in the end, you know what? The fake rallies and the fake pullbacks are real rallies and they're real pullbacks. And so I think the fact that we held up today, whether it's, you know, on currency or whether it's whatever, it was it was pretty, I thought, a pretty encouraging sign. Um, and, and that's why I guess I, I'm not 
saying I'm going completely bullish and I'm not completely bearish and actually really what I did today is I just sold a lot of stuff to get into a lot of cash um, took a couple positions that I really like into tomorrow um, but overall we're just gonna react to what we see in the market right here um, you know the trend is probably to the downside here till 12,400 if we break that it's probably down even lower um, and until I think we get a really um, you know if we get some good earnings to come out we might say okay we're gonna start to really go bullish and buy on any dips but for now I, I think it's good to be in cash and I think it's just good to react intraday um, and I think commodities have been the best place to trade they've been the most um, tr you know they follow the trends that you think they should follow um, and that's what we've done we made a lot of money today on UCO um, we sold it for three times throughout the day um, at a one and a one and a half and then a four percent gain um, and you know uh, saw a really good uh, bounce off that 94 line up to about 97.50 that's a pretty solid range that we're in right now 94 to 98 I think shorting off the 98 area buying on the 94 gonna be pretty solid until we see something fundamentally change in oil uh, for C we also uh, we got into a new position in CF today uh, I really like the stock I think uh, the AG is a, is a good story um, you know did have a little bit of a bearish candlestick today um, really popped um, at early on and kind of sold off but at, it should be expected that you would see a somewhat of a sell-off like that um, given the fact that we you know, had such a uh, uh, so many headwinds in the market, but you got really good volume coming into the stock today. Um, it's in an upward trend. Uh, it's above its 20 and it's 50. Um, those are pointing upwards. Fast stochastic still got a lot of room to go. RSI is just breaking over 50 right now. So a lot of good things going on for CF. I like its consolidation all on the upward moving price channel. That continues to move up and create a, a nice bottom for it to fall to. Um, and I, I also like what we see here. Um, the Finviz doesn't give this this as much justice, but if you look at the same exact area here in May, uh, you had um, this big uh, bar up, about right up this 140 line, right like we had there. Next day was a little bit of a red follow through, not much, okay, again, not much here. And then you had this nus another big breakout day. Now that wasn't quite as good today, um, but that breakout took us close to about 158. Um, and I think that this stock is really about ready to break out. I think we could maybe see a small consolidation day tomorrow, but I would, moving forward, I do think that this stock is going to 155. Um, other, other positions that we're uh, trading right now, we uh, did exit our second half of our GLD position. Uh, we made another 20% gain. We did actually miss the major move today on that one. Um, but we were long gold and we were long oil, and they seemed to be basically following the same trend of, you know, the, short, the lower dollar was helping out. Gold was a little bit more bullish with the safe haven, but we made a lot of good money on it. And I didn't want to lose that as it looked weak at the open today. Um, and we got out of that. Um, we did exit again a uh, UCO position intraday for like for some very solid gains there. Um, and we also recommended a long position in TBT today. We didn't take an official position on this, but I am looking at an entry into TBT as I do think that, uh, that, that, that the ultra shorts on the treasuries have come off pretty well and looking pretty solid for buy right now. Um, pretty good support line at 32. Uh, for Giorgio's corner, um, Giorgio sold his uh, GG vertical put spread today for seven percent gain. Um, he's also has two new two open positions. Um, he, I'm sorry, he bought back the GG vertical put spread. Um, he sold a 4241 vertical put spread on uh, U.S. Steel. That one's uh, I think was slightly negative, and his uh, Medco Health Solutions I think was. Uh, slightly negative too, so that for 52, 50, 50 vertical put spread, but those continue um, to every day become more valuable as those stocks continue to hold up. Um, on the extended value portfolio, nothing really new today. Um, the latest news was we did add the two new positions in Oracle and CA and sold Roof for about a 40% gain. Um, we are going to be initiating 12 new companies for coverage um, coming very soon. Um, we're working on that right now in the fast and casual dining industry. For tomorrow, uh, sharp, sharp drop, drop the close was uh, definitely a bearish signal um, on our third down day in the market yet your debt can continue to worry to weigh but hope for us um, and I just I can't get terribly bearish right now um, just because I didn't see the fall through day that I was expecting today which is supposed to be the safe haven and the beacon of hope for us um, and I just I can't get terribly bearish right now um, just because I didn't see the fall through day that I was expecting today. We saw it was supposed to be the safe haven and the beacon of hope for us. Um, and I just, I can't get terribly bearish right now um, just because I didn't see the fall through day that I was expecting today. We saw it at the end of the safe haven and the beacon of hope for us. Um, and I just, I can't get terribly bearish right now um, just because 
I didn't see the follow through day that I was expecting today. We saw it at the end of the day, Safe Haven and the beacon of hope for us. Um, and I just, I can't get terribly bearish right now um, just because I didn't see the follow through day that I was expecting today. We saw it at the end of the day, Safe Haven and the beacon of hope for us. Um, and I just, I can't get terribly bearish right now um, just because I didn't see the follow through day that I was expecting today. We saw it at the end of the day, um, but that was, you know, uh, I think a fake, you know, it was just as much as it was a fake rally after the, the Q3, it was a fake, uh, fake sell off at the end of the day. So I don't believe in in that, and um, I'm I'm gonna be just mildly neutral right now, maybe with a slight bullish sentiment going forward. Um, that's gonna be it for today. Visit www.theactiongroup.com. Email us at contact at theactiongroup.com. Call us. Become a part of 70% accuracy. Uh, have a great trading day tomorrow.